Hello everybody, welcome back to Asagao Academy Normal Boots Club. Last time we were approached by Ian. Ian McDonald. I don't know who that is. And apparently we realized we're really good at Bejeweled. Which is just... the most useful talent I have ever seen. We might be... partially autistic. Maybe. I'm just saying that because, you know, a lot of, not a lot, but a, a fair few autistic people are really good at specific, well, well just puzzle games. Like, uh, what's it called? The Rubik's Cubes as well. There's, they key into it really well for some reason. Anyways, let's move past autism. We're here with Ian. Whatever his name, Brutal Moose. There we go. That's his name. Online. Perfect. This is turning out well. You need to join the team. I gazed at him, trying to read his face. Also, I'm tired of shit right now, so. Whatever. Could he be pulling my leg? It was possible that I was actually much, much worse than average, and he wanted me to join the team to drag down their score. A dirty move, but I wasn't sure Ian would do that. Would do it, if given the chance. <sighs> Ian sighed. Look, at least give it some thought. That was impressive. And I wouldn't mind having some competition for once. He turned on his heel and ambled to his seat. I'm going to have to look that up later. Ambled. Uh. What was that about? I told her what just happened. Really? He thinks you have what it takes? That would be awesome, wouldn't you? Have? Isn't this exactly what you wanted? I guess... Not everyone's so enthusiastic about having me on the team, though. Shane's glaring face passed through my mind. I'm sure if you proved yourself, it would be alright. What are you gonna do? Uh, I'd like to try. Even if I fail, I'm gonna work hard and give it my best. Maybe I can even make Shane and the others accept me. I can make them accept me. I can force them into accepting me until they eventually give in and I break their limbs and then I rise to the top of the Normal Boots Club. Hee <laughs> hee. Now it's not the time for me to sit around and wonder what else I can do. Yahoo! There's my girl. I'm sorry, she's, she's crying? Okay. Oh, Hannah, you're catapulting through the sky like a shooting star. Bless. 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 Not God bless, because God bless would have religious connotations to it, and we don't want those in the game about social justice. No. This game isn't really that. Isn't really about social justice. In fact, it really isn't at all. I don't even know why I said that. Maybe it's just because it has a female lead character. But that doesn't make it about social justice. That's my own... It's my own narrative getting in the way of my experience. I apologize. And what are you gonna do next? Talk to him? Talk to, talk to them? Them, not him. An image of myself going head to head with Shane flickered through my mind. We stood close. We could feel each other's breath against our faces. His lips mere inches from mine. He leaned in. Uh, uh maybe not just yet. 
Sensing my unease, my struggled. Shrugged. I don't know why I thought that said struggled. Well, don't worry about it too much. Anne's part of Hidden Block after all. It wouldn't help him to have competition. And besides... Shizuka stalked in, looking furious. Turn to page 394. And that was the end of that. Finally, class was over. I gathered my bags and joined my... Sorry, I got caught up on bags because I thought it was bag. And joined Maya as she headed to the door. Um. Hannah. Shane stood before me, shifting from foot to foot. Can I speak to you? A lump formed in my throat. What does he want now? Uh, sure. My, go on ahead. If you say so. With a worried tone in her voice, my left us alone. Shane waved me out of the classroom and into a nook next to the window. <sighs> it came to... It came to, I am suddenly the narrator. It came to my attention... Attention, that dog 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 dog. What the hell is his voice? What is. It came to my attention that I perhaps said something that I should not have said. Got a really, really uh, northern accent. Came to my attention that I perhaps said something I should not have said. And that perchance I may have possibly bothered you in some such fashion as to cause. As cause of my words that I said. I'm sorry? Yes, exactly. What? I'm sorry. What? Well... I'm sorry for what I said about your hair. My heart skipped a beat. <sighs> uh, how did you know I heard that? My... She came to my room last night and tore my ear off. Oh, my. Oh, my. My chagrin quickly turned into gratefulness. Chagrin. It's another one for the dictionary. How many other girls would go to the one of the most popular guys in school and chew him out because he was mean to her friend, especially when I wasn't even supposed to hear it? I hope you can forgive me. A weight lifted from my shoulders. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm really happy. Thank you so much for apologizing to me. To be honest, I've been worrying about this for a while now. I'm, just, I'm glad you changed your mind. <laughs> I didn't say that. I deflated. Look, it's, it's not really about you. Or, in a way it is, but I can't really help that. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Never mind. Look, you have to come with me, I have a surprise. My accent has changed dramatically. Following Shane around was not something I would, partic I would particularly like to do. Especially consider considering what just happened, but... Um... Yeah, okay. Okay. Shane grabbed my wrist and led me down the hallway. I could probably have followed him just as well without his needing... Without his needing to do that. Sorry, I'm gonna go over that sentence once again. I could probably have followed him just as well without his needing to do so. To do that. Not to do so. Either way. Without his needing to do that seems fucked up. I'm sure it, it does grammatically work as a sentence, but it's not... It doesn't roll off the tongue very well. But there were worse things in this world. Before long, we wound up in front of the normal Boots Club room. What is this? Without saying a word, Shane opened the door and led me in. Inside, the entirety of Normal Boots was waiting, along with a sudden, a sullen-faced Ian. Bye. 
Well, it looks like my work is done. Goodbye. <laughs> you brushed past me as PBG began to laugh. See ya. Thanks, man. See you in the tournament. So, Hannah, I bet you're wondering why Mr. Stoic brought you here. Uh... A little bit, yeah. As you know, there is a tournament that happens each year in each in early spring. This year, the tournament is about a month and a half. In a bun in about a month and a half. Again, again, guys, I'm, I'm fucking tired right now. We each compete in various events. It used to be an easy win, but with Hidden Block around, things changed. We want to keep our competitive edge. Hmm. I'm, I, something happened last year that made it so we no longer have someone <laughs> compete. <laughs> Wait, he's Italian. Something happened last year. <laughs> that's like, that's like vampire. Oh, it's a bit of pizza. But I guess, I guess John's Italian too. Fuck it. Nothing. Something happened last year that made it so we no longer have someone competing in our puzzle in the puzzle category. Mm. I stand by my decision. So we need someone to take John's place. Uh. I feel like that was like a great Game Grumps reference or something. I don't know. I don't know why. Some, something about puzzle games. Him just being super pissed. I don't know. I don't understand. Well, we all have different categories we're entering into, and half of us have jobs or other clubs that we're busy with. Can't exactly take more wrong. For example, I compete in the invention and game design category. I play retro games. Okay, I play retro games. Get a higher score than the fellow than the other fellow by the end of the level. That kind of thing. So just just all just all encompassing retro games. Got your gyromites, your bubble troubles, your super marios. That's right, Mario. Not Mario, Mario. <sighs> sure, why not? What? Uh, when has PBG ever showed interest in pinball? I play pinball on the machines the arcade provides. It's the same thing, really. Shane does Nario Kart racing, or at least he will this year. I do completion speedruns, so I gather and accomplish everything in a game as fast as possible. You could say 100% speedruns rather than completion speedruns, but... I mean, why give away the aura of... I'm a c completionist! I do! Com I completion. <sighs> it's just as draining as it sounds. We complete in tag teams, 80s and 90s arcade beat-em-ups. Specific, I know. So just like three-player beat-em-up games? Why not? And I... <laughs> I dance. Because of course he does. Because, you know... We each have our own fields, and we can't take the time to learn a new one. So, so Ian told you, told us how good you are at Dumbadooms. Dumbadooms Revenge. He suggested you enter the tournament as a member of the Normal Boots Club. Really? He, really? Why on earth would he do that? He's won that event every year since he's gone to school in this district. Wants a little challenge this time around. <laughs> Just because we're rivals doesn't mean we're not friends. I honestly can't even think of Nick's voice at this point. Anyways, we voted on whether you should join the club and... Well, long story short, we've got a compromise. See now... A little bit of an issue here. I'm pretty sure it was like five minutes ago... That peaked the mic. Pretty sure it was like five minutes ago that 
Ian figured out that we were good at puzzle games. So I feel like this wasn't much of a, a thought out decision. He just kind of ran upstairs and was like, hey, guys, she's good at puzzle games. And they're like, yeah, we need puzzle game person. Why not? You enter the tournament, and if you win, you get to join the Normal Boots Club. And if you lose, well, you don't have what it takes. What do you say? Uh... I... This was amazing. This was exactly what I wanted. This was my chance, but... I, I... don't know. Okay, just, just take... Just take the fuck over for me. Whatever, I don't care. If I lost, that's totally the narrator's voice. If I lost, didn't that mean I would lose their friendship too? That doesn't make one lick of fucking sense. Where are you getting this from? What? You're not allowed to be my friend because you're not good at video games. Hmm. Yeah, totally. I'd be a laughing stock, and I'd be left alone again. Yes, I am 100% sure that these people that were your friends prior to knowing that you were good at video games will now no longer be your friend because you lost in a competition that had to do with video games. in a video game that you've never played before until this moment. Let's just soak that in. Just soak that really... that great thought process in. It's just... Mmm. So good. Anna. Anna. My... You should accept. But... Hmm. Where did you even come from? I am actually, uh, I'm a sorceress. I can just kind of teleport. Sorry, I didn't tell you before. Do you remember what you told me? Uh-huh. No more giving up. Yeah, I do. But if I don't try in the first place, then I'm not really giving up, right? Okay, I'm going to try. And that was how I got the opportuni opportunity. Opportunity. To join the normal boots club. If I could win my event for the tournament, I would officially join the team. If I didn't, well... If I didn't, the club would... More likely... The, the club would be more likely to lose the tournament, and I... Wouldn't get to stick around. See, now that bothers me, because... I mean, this is only a plus for them. Unless they have someone else that is good at puzzle games that isn't going to the tournament. Which is not the case. Like, if she loses, that just means, okay, well, we're on the same grounds as we are every other year. So what that's What? It was scary, but if I succeeded, it would be worth it. I couldn't sleep at all that night, so when morning came, I put on my uniform and headed to class early. For once I was eager for the mundane classroom environment, I hoped it would still my, oh, still my racing thoughts, still my racing thoughts and help me come to terms with my amazingly good fortune. Therefore, I was sitting at my desk, falling slowly asleep, I can, I can relate to that. When I held a hand, when I, when I held, when I held, when a hand slammed upon its surface. Mm. Listen up, you maggot. <coughs> she said it herself. I scooted my chair away from my desk. Shane glared at me. If you are really competing with us in the tournament, and I still can't believe that's happening. Then you had better not let us down. I'm suddenly the principal or whatever it is from Clone High. No, it's not the principal. It's JFK. It's the... It's the... Jesus. 
references. Uh, it's the clone of JFK. He pulled the chair out in front of my desk and sat down. Let's talk strategy. Let's talk strategy. What? 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 Hmm. Do you think practice will pull you through the tournament? Despite knowing it was probably the wrong answer, I nodded. No. Wrong, maggot. Rather than practice, you need strategy. I could hardly believe my eyes. Shane, the normally quiet, weary? Weary, not weary. Barely speaking, Shane. I'm sorry. Shane, the normally quiet, wary, barely speaking Shane. Okay, got it. Was suddenly on the fire and preparing to give me a full lecture on video game strategy. Did this mean my good fortune was over, or...? Hmm. Pay attention! I snapped straight up and scooted my chair to my desk. Y y yes sir? Strategy isn't something you can just study, and it isn't something you only start thinking about when you're playing the game. Strategy is... always... Anyways... If you like the video, feel free to like the video. If you dislike the video, feel free to dislike the video. And comment. Comment all over the place as to why you liked and disliked the video. You can also favorite the video, share it among social medias, and of course subscribe. I would put a big subscribe button up here, but I'm a lazy fucking editor, so I'm not going to. Anyways. Again, anyways. Anyways, anyways. Thank you everybody for watching. I'm the Morbid Hobo. Goodbye. Bye. Dream. Bye.